All right, I don't know what's wrong with the audio. We've had audio issues the last two weeks. I don't know what's causing them. There's music playing right now. No one can hear it. And I feel like if I let you guys be able to hear it, then you'll probably not be able to hear them and so on and so forth. So let's just say this. There's the music. Now it's playing. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, let's get started. Hello, everyone, and welcome to State of the Realm, your weekly Final Fantasy 14 podcast this week. It's none of the realm. We got live letter 43 to talk about, and there are some hot topics that we're going to have to bring up here today. But to do that, we decided to put together a special show that has occasionally working audio, unlike most of our other shows. So I'm one of your hosts, Michael, Mr. Happy Pope. Of course, joining me is Sly, a.k.a. Sly Fox, a.k.a. Sly, a.k.a. Gray Fox, a.k.a. You my boy Blue. How you doing, Sly? I guarantee you they can't hear you right now. So I'm just, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to manually change the audio so now they can hear you. Because I don't know what's going on with my audio channels right now. <laughs> Am I being heard? Yeah, you can be heard now. Now they can't hear the music. Music's gone. That's it. We're, we're, yeah. we're ghettoing this. Ghettoing. I'm literally that's, picking that's which things they can hear because the audio channel itself that's is not word. responding. Ah. But they can hear you now. Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm not looking forward to this show. Why not? Is that why? You get the answer to this question. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's it. And uh, so, yeah, it's a four horsemen show. Uh, we couldn't just do it with me and Sly for a topic like this. So, also joining us is Very Merry. How are you doing? I'm riding two horses. He's riding two horses today. Well, yeah. I mean, that's kind of like, weird. Uh, like, they're like rollerblades. I don't think that's how horses work. I don't think I'm not sure horses are rollerblades. How you doing, Mary? I'm doing good. All right. All right. Thanks for having me. Now, right here, when we introduce the fourth host is normally when we switch over to cameras, which is a lot different because there's no music being heard right now. Mm -hmm. But uh, we need to let Ethis, who's definitely here, introduce himself. Oh, that's right. He's not here. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to try and add this impression. I was like, should I do it? No. I no, didn't. I think I think the, the silence. The, that was, it, was good. it was good. I think the yeah, silence yeah, was... speaks quite well. Um, but luckily we found a fill-in for Ethis. Um so uh Welcome. So we so we found this kangaroo who took a selfie. And uh by at Mary's Mary's suggestion. So uh on, if he shows up late, I still might leave the kangaroo there but that's yeah, i like it it's good that's what that's what he's gonna be for this entire show he's a kangaroo mm. and specifically one that took a, a selfie a bad selfie he's not even centered so welcome kangaroo how are you doing i'm doing great <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you thank you for thank you for filling in like you said where uh, well i talk for him wearing roller blade oh okay your translator yeah, got it. All right. Well, gentlemen, this show is about live letter number 43. We got our first peak at patch 4.3. And uh, before we go into specifics, just quick overall feelings on the live letter. Uh, Mary, you're the guest. So how about you? It's neat. <laughs> nice. You want to you want to you want to go a little more into that without getting too specific? <laughs> Pharos looks cool. Okay. <laughs> and you know, uh, you don't seem that that you know the energy it seems like there's no energy there. I mean, it, it, it's cool. It's but, <laughs> you want to save it for when we talk about specifics. Yeah. All right, that's neat. All right, what about don't say neat, Sly? I swear to God. Meh. You guys are Debbie Downers. This was I love this live letter. Even for a part one, there's okay. Let's be clear. There were two very glaring problems with this one, but the rest of the stuff there was. It's not so much like 
the problems. It's just like, I'm excited. It's just, I expected everything. Right. So nothing really surprised me. Nothing. Wow. <laughs> this, me. this man went mean, full Jesus. We didn't have him on the mean, prediction mean, show last week. So yeah, nothing, when you mean really everything, me. it's like, okay, things. The only thing that really mean everything. Me, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. The only thing that really surprised me was what the 24 man was. Yeah. That was cool. That's within reason. Sly and I, Sly and I, spent a very long amount of time last week predicting everything that would be here. Mm. Um, so I feel like, with based on our discussion, Sly and I had a few surprises, a few hap Jesus, a few Sly Jesus here and there. Mm. One of which was Pharos, which we'll get into in a little bit. We have to get used to not calling it Pharos as much as our Final mm. Fantasy selves really want to yeah. call it that, because it's our Pharos is is very different. It's the lighthouse. Yeah. Yeah. That's a it's a word for a pharaoh. It's a lighthouse. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know. So all right, so let's get started. So we're gonna be going based off the unofficial translation on the uh, Reddit Discord. So we'll just be starting at the top from where it says the name of the patch, and we'll just be uh, going down from there. And we'll probably throw a few predictions in here, but this show has a hard cutoff of an hour and forty five minutes. So we should probably get started so I can make raid on time without getting complaints thrown in my face yeah i got right 9 30 there you go see you have an extra 30 minutes i don't have that I do there you go so uh first of all we have the name of the patch it is under the moonlight and i don't have it locally on the computer but uh under the moonlight has art of yatsuyu i guess in the foreground for the most part with yugiri uh gosetsu asaya and um and uh hien over on the right hand side so we had rise of the new sun now we're under the moonlight. Clever. Clever. Deliberate. And that's going to be a hot topic when we get to something a little bit later in here. Um, how, how are we feeling about going into 4.3's main scenario quests in terms of anticipation? Sly? I really want to see what happens to Yatsuyu. Um, that's my main thing. Does she ever get her memory back? What the fuck did Asahi give her? Is it a trap? It's probably a trap. It's always a trap. It's always a trap. It's always especially a trap. with Asahi. Always. Especially with Asahi and and that little, you know, I remember what you did. I'm gonna fuck you up conversation <laughs> he had. I all right, yeah. that's that's a yeah. It's <laughs> a nice I mean, way that was to basically it. the conversation that was the conversation he had at the end. Uh but yeah, I'm kind of interested in all that. Mm. um story-wise what about you mary i'm excited because of the the implication of this being the end of the the, the whole domain the, the, yeah. side of things so like yeah. big things are gonna happen obviously it's I a very climactic point i expect a cutscene that says that please please have a lot of time set aside yeah, yeah. when i love those cutscenes. yeah me too that's yep. that's 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 some content right there. Hmm. Think about that. That one cutscene takes like as long as a whole Hildebrand patch. I haven't done it yet. Still, I haven't done it. I've heard it's fantastic. I haven't done it though. Same. I have to do it. We have to slide. If he asks us about questions next week on Airzivia, we don't have. We haven't watched it. He's gonna he's gonna pick questions. Granted, he has to show up on time to ask us questions, so we don't even know if that'll happen. Ooh. But anyway, <laughs> the jabs, man, the jabs. Kangaroo, what do you think? Oh my god. Thanks. All right. Good input. Good input. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even want to give you time to actually reply as him. Mary. It's good. It's a good call. It's a good call. All right. So oh, yeah. so we have the name of patch under the moonlight. We still don't have a day, but it says late May. Can we lock in some predictions here? Because I'm still going May 22nd. Let me I, I'm not I'm not confident calendar. about it, but on May 22nd is my prediction. Let me bust out this calendar. Uh, 22nd. Yeah. It's kind of late, but when they say late, they almost always mean the last Tuesday, which is why I'm not super confident about that. Well, Yoshi P, didn't he say, like, they could release it mid-May? Yeah, like, they were kind of, like, were ahead of yeah. schedule on it in a yeah, sense, but they, all, they already decided they would release yeah. it on this day, so they're just going to release it on that day. Yeah. Good. That's the fr- I, th- I don't think I've ever heard him say that before. Yeah. That's good. I'm glad that they're plugging along. Yeah, they're they are definitely chugging like a little choo choo train. Just never stops. Sly, train. what you got? Twenty second or 29th? You got two choices. Twenty. I'm I'm going twenty ninth. 
I I feel like you're gonna get this one, Sly. I'm gonna stick with the twenty second, but I'm I feel like you're gonna get this one. I just I've seen so, them say mid May, and it's like two of the four Tuesdays or like three of the five Tuesdays out of the month is mid May. The first one's early, and the last mm-hmm. one's late. I feel like it's been that way for the most part, but. We need a day, dude. People need to take off work for Ultimate, which is probably still two weeks after the patch. Mm-hmm. I think they said that in one of the mm-hmm. unofficial translations. I saw that they did indeed confirm it would be two weeks later, but I don't have that translation handy, so I won't say yeah, it. Yeah, I certain. heard that too. Somewhere. Yeah, I think it's on BG. I think they. I think Slicer did one because he does translations all the time, and I think his says it. Uh, I wasn't able to locate it earlier, so I don't want to. I saw someone anything. dreading raiding in the June heat. I'm more dreading raiding on E3 week, <laughs> which is not great. If uh, if it's if it is the 29th, then two weeks later would be the same week as E3. Hmm. So I'm uh, I'm dreading the timing of that very very heavily. All right, so uh, moving forward, they showed a few screenshots, but we can't really gleam a whole lot other than what we already know. It's Garlean's Yatsu. Ooh, like. That's, what else are we really going to say, you know? Yep. Um, now, we are going to be continuing the Four Lords storyline, but it's not going to have a trial, the Four Lords, this time around. This was uh, a big thing, Sly and I talked about last week, whether we thought there'd be a main story trial. And I think you leaned on yes just because it was... Four- you wanted to say yes because of 4.3, but I don't know that you were convicted. I don't remember, Sly. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I want to say it because of the number of the patch, but yeah. Well, we got it because of the number of the patch. Yeah. I think from this point on, we should just consider that a constant. Now that we've had two expansions and that's remained constant. Right. So 5.3, I'm predicting there will be a main scenario trial in 5.3. And 6.3. And 7.3. There you go. There you go. From now on, just all the point threes. Put a pin in this. Put a pin in that. There you go. Yeah. Uh, what about you? Mary, were you surprised to see that one of your the Final Fantasy XI bros are weren't going to be present here in this one? A little bit. I was hoping we were going to get something like uh, Siryu or Suzaku or whatever, but it's okay. But at least you get to fight uh, a buffed up um, Sorabon. Sorabon. Yeah. Yeah, Which is definitely going to be a solo trial. Everyone kept thinking it was an Aramatama Genbu, and then you point out that Genbu is standing right next to you. Yeah, he is. Yeah. So, uh, looks like Sarbon's going to have some issues with his Aramatama this patch, and uh, he's going to he's gonna bro out a little bit. Uh, but I was definitely surprised, because now we have to talk about the future of the Four Lords series. Because... Mm-hmm. Under the pos- under what we are expecting, I believe all three of us are expecting to have Seru, Suzaku, and Koryu. All three yep. of them. We now only have two main patches minimum left. I'll say minimum because there's, again, no guarantee we end at 4.5. Yep. Are we leaning on option A, there's a 4.6 and Koryu's there? Or, or maybe just another patch that has Koryu? Let's just not say 4.6. Another patch that isn't 4.4, 4.5 that has Koryu. Mm-hmm. Or are we leaning on option B, where Seryu and Suzaku are part of one encounter and or part of a dungeon in those patches, and then Koryu is still 4.5? I got option C. Option C. Throw it at me. Option C, basically the same thing you said, but whichever the last one is tied with Koryu. Oh, so you mean so Suzaku and Koryu or Seryu and Koryu? Yeah. I still feel like Koryu is going to be like, we're going to have the four lords in that fight, all four of them. Almost like ultimate style, but they're not going to fight yeah, them. Actually, they're going to be helping us. Yeah. Um, yeah, that for, makes sense. for World of Warcraft players, Yogg Saron with all four keepers would be Ooh, yeah. would be an example that I would use. That would be cool. Obviously, not nearly as hard as Yogg Saron, yeah. but still, I guess conceptually is where my brain is taking the core of your fight. That'd be cool. Yeah, it's possible one of them loses and gets. But so you don't get killed by your Armatama. It possess it. It it possesses you. Mm-hmm. So I don't. I don't know. Um, Sly, what about you? Where, where do you think we're going with this? I'm holding out faith that there's still three separate fights, meaning that we probably... I'm leaning on the fact that we're going to get another patch and that we'll be able to carry another single instance. Do you think it would be fight. like 4.55 would bring Koryu? And the, or four, do you think that there is a 4.6 in the plans? I think there's a 4.6. That's where I'm kind of leaning. 
I feel like even if there is a 4.6, it just won't be a full patch. But we'll go with that. So you, you're predicting three separate fights with Koryu having his own patch. You're mm-hmm. predicting that Koryu, will, that at least there will be some form of combined fight between two of the two of the three remaining Aramitamas yeah. of the of the Four Lords franchise. Okay. There is the option that Koryu just isn't actually fought. I don't see that being a thing. That would I'd be yeah. really shocked if Koryu wasn't. Even Tataru is like, yo, no, but really, this we're gonna have to fight him. Like it's the first thing she says to you when you come back. Mm. So I, I'd be really surprised in that case. Yeah, um, we're getting more Hildebrand, which none of us can be excited about yet because we've only done the first quest and have not done the four point two quest. So yep. mm-hmm. we gotta get to it. That's our fault. Beast tribes, the Namazu. Which was, I guess, we didn't actually predict that last week's slide because we didn't know exactly what to do. But we predicted it a while back, though. We, we, we did. Knew eventually, yeah, they would. That's been floating around. For we a while. we yeah. kind of the only reason we kind of abandoned that thought was because of the Doman reconstruction being related. When we last heard, there was relations between crafting quests and the Doman reconstruction, mm. and it seems, at least from this interpretation, that they are not directly related they may they may be in some way but it's yeah, there may small. be crafting quests as part of the domain reconstruction it was not i wasn't a hundred percent certain how we missed that in the previous live letters probably just like uh something that was lost in translation hmm. uh but the namazu crafting and gathering this time yeah that was a bit of a surprise yeah, it's not like gatherers are that bad so i mean crafters aren't even that bad 60 to 70 sly knows so mm-hmm. I did it. I still haven't done it. I'm the only one here who hasn't done it, aren't I? Okay. That's Pretty great. Yep. Well, you know what? I can yeah. still repair in Eureka, so it's fine. Yeah. All that matters. All that matters. And I can desynthesize. What do I need the extra 10 levels for? Huh? Higher level gear. What? What, what higher? What, am I going to craft it myself? No. That's what I pay other people to do. Yeah. That's what I'm, company crafters If are everyone crafted for themselves, Sly, I couldn't give anyone any money. Trying I'm generous. I'm in the market, bro. I'm a consumer. Melds is a pretty good reason because I hate asking other people to do melds because it takes so fucking long. Yeah. When you're, you just, you, when it's over melding, you're just like, here, just take the piece, do the melds, and here, take the material, please just do the meld so I don't have to fucking mm. do this one by one. Netflix and melts. They really need to fix that. Yeah, it'd be nice. <laughs> but, I mean, we still can't even request repairs. So, gotta go 1. back to 1.0 for that. Yeah. Hashtag things 1.0 did better. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the only thing. Yeah. So, they have the Namazu. They didn't show us the mount yet. They'll show us in the next live letter. And then they mentioned the Doman reconstruction, which is obviously the second part of the Doman, of the Doman quest line. Uh... Mm. And that's it. You know, Domen Enclave, that's it. Go do the part one quest and then do the part two quest and you'll be good. Yeah. I'm sure there will be some some story there. Uh, let's see. I'm surprised to see the Namazu have anything to do with Azim Step. Apparently, yeah. they're going to be yeah. with the Aura. So I, I feel like we're going to learn a little bit about the Aura in the process. Or at least how it's been ever since we won uh, the Nadam. Mm, yeah. So... We, yeah, we really don't know how that's been, how Serena's been leading mm-hmm. the the many Aura tribes. Is it called the Nadam? I feel like that's right. N A D A A M, I think. Nadam. 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 One of the S- two. Something, something. I feel like, like there's that. an H in there, maybe. No, no. it's N A A D A M, I think, or N A D A A M. Something like that. I feel yeah. like it's just lies. Uh, so Domain Reconstruction, we have our new instance dungeon, which I got I got a hap Jesus on. The tomb. The Swallow's Compass. The Swallow's Compass. That's the big-ass tomb mm-hmm. in Yang yep. I I was still kind of surprised because I did just think it was a tomb. I didn't think it was this a fucking journey up a mountain. Yeah, that surprised there. me. So, that surprised me. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'd have to assume it's part of the main scenario quests like Scala was and that we'll Definitely. be doing something there leading up to yeah. the eventual trial that we'll be having from the main scenario quest. Uh, so then we have the trial. <laughs> That's the next thing on the list, actually. So you predicted a main scenario trial 
in this patch, Mary, based on what you told us earlier? Um, so they mentioned uh, what I think it's going to tie into because it's been stressed a whole lot. Um, there's going to be like something really big that happens in like the story. And I think it's going to pertain to whatever's going on with the whole, I'm allowed to talk story stuff, right? Yeah. We're, we were, we're way past spoiler cast. Okay, okay, okay. Um, the prisoner exchange deal. That's going to mm. be happening. You think it's going to be in there? Something tied to that. I think. Like, Cause they, they, it seems really ominous, like something really bad's going to happen. And I think, it's going to be something like they're going to sacrifice everything and you know all the prisoners and summon something or something crazy like that's going to happen. Hmm. Sly, before I chime in here, I'll give you the chance to throw something out there because I have something. I have a lot of things to chime in here. I mean, it would be easy to say that Asahi would be directly in the, the trial. I don't think that would be the case. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards Mary here that it's going to be something involved with the prisoners and something really really shitty happens and you know a lot of prisoners die or are sacrificed and something gets summoned i don't know what exactly it could be but yeah that's the idea i have so i've been doing a lot of reading of different people's opinions i've been doing a lot of reading and and hammer brought up something that i think is very important so in Stormblood during the Astrologian questline, we were introduced to Geomancy, which is the Eastern, basically the Eastern's equivalent of the Conjurer, which even though it's in the Astro quest line, well, I think they're technically considered the Eastern version of Astrologians, but they use, in the, in the actual quest, they use Conjurer spells, so I can never remember which one it is. They're the Eastern version of one of the mages we already have. Um, but part of that quest line is dealing with a spirit in Kugane, basically a, a demon spirit. And this is a very crude explanation of it. Now, um, when I think I've also been doing a lot of reading regarding what people think the trial will be and that a lot of people think Yatsuyu's body is going to be used as a medium to summon uh, Sukiyomi, if someone could finish the full name. Uh, Sukiyomi, which is, I believe, a, a moon, uh, a god of the moon, although Sukiyomi is a man, which is the only thing that's a little bit weird about that. Um, mm. Or Amaterasu, mm. which would be uh, a god of the sun which Asahi has to do with the sun. So one of the two, Amaterasu or Sukiyomi no Mikoto, are the two guesses that are going to be there. Geomancy was used to purge a similar beast in the yeah. in the Astrologian quest line. So the Swallow's Compass, that guy is the, I think, the founder of Geomancy. So there's... I think, yeah, I think that's something. There's a... Uh, there's a lot. Of, you can see where I'm going with this. Just like a bunch yeah. of incomplete thoughts trying to put yeah, together no, the Swallow's Compass relation to the trial. I think yeah. people are onto something with it being, um, what's it called? Uh, Amaterasu or Tsukiyomi. Mm -hmm. And ultimately the mirror being the vessel through which the summoning is performed. Basically they're being, uh, that being used as the, the ether that's needed for this. So there's, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, no worries. No. Uh, well, I was going to say, um, and like to further go on this, if they have a bunch of Doman prisoners who are, you know, spiritual or whatever else, and they're like praying to, you know, oh, someone save us, the guardians are going to kill us. What happens when people pray for things? Yep. There's, like, there's that. a lot of, and it's, and it's ironic to see that guardians would be doing this. But granted, Xenos and Asahi are not exactly normal people. Yeah. In a sense. Yeah. So there's, I think that's along the right tracks of what's going to happen. Hmm. Uh, Amaterasu or Tsukiyomi. I, as soon as I started reading the theories, while there were things that could make it either or, the mirror leads towards Amaterasu, also the gender leads towards Amaterasu, Tsukiyomi is more to do with moonlight, so there's, I feel like we're going in that direction, but even when we get the trailer, they said they won't show the boss in the trailer. Good. That's crazy. I'm, I don't think we've... When was the last time we had that other than, I guess, like, Bahamut, when he kind of, like, is in the trailer, but you don't actually see Bahamut Prime? Mm -hmm. I think that's the He's last implied. time... It's implied, but, like, we didn't see Phoenix or Bahamut in the trailer. I think that might be the last time I remember us straight up not seeing the final boss. 
Mm -hmm. Uh, but like with Nidhogg, they're like, yeah, like obviously here. <laughs> yeah. that, that's pretty, that's pretty much it. Yeah. They were like, yeah, it's like, come on. They know like we can't, it, it's obvious at this point. Whereas this one's completely not obvious. So I'm, I'm really excited. I just hope it's harder than Biako. <laughs> Yes. I just hope it's better design than Biako. You think there's going to be a gimmick? Uh, yeah, there's a mirror. I don't know. Maybe there could not be like a not like a um, not, icon gimmick. Not, not like not not a duty icon, action. You, you mean like not Biakko a duty shit. action? Oh like, yeah, I think there'll yeah. be a duty action. Oh yeah, what's well, it's going to be? Well, praise the sun. Have to yeah, Solaire's gonna be. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, yeah. we're gonna just have jolly cooperation, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I would have never thought. I was still I was still in the boat that it was most likely some sort something happening to Xenos. But I think that I've seen enough to at least piece together that I think the community's on the right track more so than I was with Amaterasu or Sukiyomi. Um, there's other possibilities as well, but I'm gonna fifty fifty that one. Uh, just because okay. I I'm not educated enough in the matter to say anything else. Well, you know what? It'll be o o o o o o o o o. Extreme. That's right. That's right. You're yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's the one. Oh, the O's are a bunch of suns and moons. No, no, I don't yeah. think. I don't think so. That's perfect. That's I no. I don't think that's that's. I don't think that's okay. the reason. <laughs> uh then we got the new alliance raid yeah pharos or as it's officially being called because we have pharos serious and they don't want people to get confused mm. the ridorana lighthouse which sounds not nearly as the good pharos at on the cataracts yeah the pharos yeah. at ridorana the on the ridorana cataracts yeah so this is, yep. a, I am surprised to see another Final Fantasy XII location, even though I predicted that it would be Nabudis. Just because, even though it's Return to Evilies, I feel like outside of Ramza and I guess one or two of the bosses, it's felt way more on the twelve side of things. Yeah, I mean, that's what it, it seems like what they're doing is they're doing a, a tactic story with twelve like, set pieces. Maps. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and then, then the like, Prima Vista from nine, tactics. just yeah, like it's all <laughs> sorts of shit just like crammed in there. Um, but yeah, it definitely seems like they're going to be sticking with twelve locales, so the final guess can definitely be a twelve one. I mean, I'm only going to guess twelve ones because I'm more familiar. Regardless, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see a tactics location. I'm just observing that thus far it's been all yeah. twelve. I don't know if it's because they have more up to date assets, but they've had to make brand new stuff for this. Yeah. So, mm. Sly, you, uh... I did not even fucking guess. I didn't even want to go... I, I part in the back of my head, I wanted to go 12. I'm like, I can't really... I, no. I With 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 Return to Eve, Lisa, it, it because it's going from 12 to tactics and, you know, kind of intertwining, it makes it really difficult to actually, you know, pin something down. But let's just... Let's... Let's just go ahead and get this out the way. What are we getting? What What are we getting out of this dungeon? Are we getting Gabranth? Are we getting what? Famfrit's a guarantee. Okay. Now, in Final Fantasy XII, Hashmal was here. We're obviously not getting that. Right. I feel like the only thing I can say for certain here is Famfrit. In Final Fantasy XII, the Pharos at Ritterana had a guardian at the front, which was was like a bone dragon type thing. I don't remember Hydro, the name. I think something like Hydro. that. Um, and then he had Fenrir, Pandemonium, um, Silt or Slit, Slit, which was like a like the Rockfin looking mob that we have in in Eureka. Right. Yeah. Um, and like and then a Phoenix, I think, was in the basement. I think it was Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's the Shadow Seer, which uses all of them. And then I know where Mary's going with this. Yeah, Yasmat's outside. Side, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say Go ahead. a whole different subject. Do you think we're gonna be going? up or down i think we're going up i think oh. i i think that i think the sun crisp will probably be involved and i think that maybe in a different form the okuria 
might be here, but not like as the 12. Like they'll kind of exist as something else. There's a lot. This is a dungeon that has a lot of possibilities. This is the the what is the final dungeon in Final Fantasy 12. There's technically the Sky Fortress Bahamut, but it's not mm-hmm. really a dungeon. It's just walk to mm-hmm. the bosses pretty much with like super weak mobs in between. Uh, so there's a lot that comes out of it in terms of its story implications in Final mm-hmm. Fantasy 12. Now we have to apply that to what we've seen so far from the Return to Evil East series, and it leaves a lot a lot of questions about who the bosses will be other than Famfrit, which I yeah. think is going to be a guarantee, and what else we'll actually experience here. Now, uh, I can't ask for predictions for the third part yet, but <laughs> where would you like it to be now that you know that nope. the fair... <laughs> nope. You're not getting me to do this. Fuck Wait, this no, you, I'll no. give you the opera. No, because this isn't your lock-in prediction. This is this is a wit. Consider uh, this a wish list. What's one location you still want them to use in four point five? Mary, I'll let you go first. God damn. Oh, I got a wish, and you already said it. We know that this whole like thing deals with the Garleans. I think it'd be really fucking cool if they busted out a new like flagship Garlean airship. Sky Fortress Bahamut. Yep. Yeah, I think that'd be gnarly. I feel like we're gonna stay away from Garleans, and I feel like it's gonna be more oh, focused on the magicites. I mean, that's, that's and a wish. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the wish. That's I my my wish is still uh even though Giru Vagan is technically the dungeon before this, Giru Vagan or Nab. I really want to go to Nabudis. The idea of it already being a destroyed destroyed city from the power of magicite is something that's very and having sealed powers there. But I can't help but shake like the Great Crystal in Giru Vagan is is a specific location that makes a lot of sense here. Even though, again, you go there before going to the Pharaohs at Ritorana. I feel as though the order isn't really is that. yeah. I, who cares? Like <laughs> Ravenaster is the city you start the game in, and the Pharaohs is the last dungeon in the game, and those were back to back. So who the hell yeah. knows? Um, but I feel like Ultima is going to be the final boss. So the Great Crystal. It was like my is my what I'm I'm hoping for above all else for the last one. Slice Slice still doesn't even want to throw a wish list out there. I have one. Okay. Um, what was the name of the graveyard? Well, the the dead place in tactics. Um, Maland. Oh, someone in the chat just said that Maland. Yeah. You so you, you that's your wish list is is the graveyard because of Ultima. Ultima. yeah that's another location yeah because ultima is in both games so obviously again i'm familiar yeah. with 12 and not tactics so mm. um, yeah. if ultima is there then it's a big possibility yeah yeah if they decide to i think it, i think tactics out yeah i think it ends with ultima like this whole return to evil east oh yeah yeah that's- no not begammon <laughs> i feel like begammon is just gonna get possessed and that's that's gonna be it I feel like he's a bit player, honestly. He's gonna help us. <laughs> I, 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 a certain a certain Australian has messaged me saying that uh, DST nonsense was exactly it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew yeah. it was daylight. If he shows up, the kangaroo thing's gonna get all the cameras are gonna get screwed up. So we'll we'll continue the show while I, I fix that. I become the kangaroo. No, what's gonna happen is all of you are gonna get cut in half. Actually, Sly and I will be fine. Only you're gonna get messed up, Mary, because it's you're on the you're on the bottom. The kangaroo. No, it's just you're gonna be half a person. Oh, so if he even decides he wants to join, he can join. Feels He's more bad. than welcome to. Feels bad. We're just you know, and then he can talk for twenty minutes about the things we've already gone over while I fix it. Yeah. There you go. I I planned it all. It all makes sense. All right. So we've got our wish list out the way. Mm-hmm. There's and uh, I'm excited to see what they do with the Ritterana Lighthouse, which will never be the words that feel natural coming out of my mouth. Pharaoh. Everyone's gonna call it Pharaoh. Yes. Everyone's gonna call it Pharaoh, and all the people who've never played twelve are gonna ask why. Yep. Pharaoh serious. That's not We've already done that. <laughs> already done that. <laughs> it's a dungeon. Oh my god. Now what's I was surprised to see this. Apparently there's some crafting and gathering quests as side quests to the uh to the the, the raid story oh yeah, yeah that's right that's right i i was surprised to see that because i can't i just never never done it before sly you should you should be happy i have to wait till i hit 70 to do 
<laughs> I can't. Well, actually, it says crafter and gatherer. Maybe I could just do it on my gatherer instead. Hmm. What could this even like, possibly be? Like, well, it's I, probably going to pertain to helping out the actors. Oh, you think we're going to help them in the Prima Vista? To... Yeah, building like a set or something. Do you think they're going to put on a show at the uh, at the end of the expansion with whatever we help Maybe. them with? Could be. I'm down for that. And Hildebrand can crash the stage. Ooh. Just just collaborate right there. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. Okay, so we have that. Now, with the Alliance Raids, there's one topic we can't get past. And that is the, the change to the loot rules for 4.3 and on. Why? Now, okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> because, because this comes out of an unofficial translation, because this comes out of an unofficial translation, and I've seen varied translations. Again, Slicers is one I don't have on hand. It, I'm just going to read what we believe it is based on that. And wait for an official statement because duty commenced the the NA community team show. They'll probably cover like what is one hundred percent accurate. Hmm. So I am gonna wait for that. But we are gonna react to what we believe it is now. They are changing the loot rules for alliance raids from four point three on to be all greed. Why? I have an answer. Okay. okay. So, for us, we are very much, you know, a lot of us going on mains, we try to get gear for alts, and yeah, whatever. Oh, <laughs> Sly lost connection. So now our cameras are screwed even more, because now you guys are going to be out of order. Actually, I can make you fix that. Sly, Sly disconnected. Neighborhood power worse? went out for a minute. Alright, so he lost his power for a minute. You're now cut in half, you're half a Sly, half yourself. And apparently, half me. <laughs> because I'm, I'm, look, I'm there, see, I can look. I'm here. Three halves. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Like three twins. Now I'm, look at that. Let's let's oh, go. Whoa. On. There hey. you go. I can. I'm. So what's I'm like, what's, what's going here? What's going on, man? How you doing? You doing? Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's like yeah. the Brady's bunch. The it's Brady's great. bunch. There you go. Well, I'm just gonna leave that like that until Sly gets back. So I can. It's, I can't even okay. blame at this for this one because. It's, you know, what are you going to do? Power goes out. It's, that's, it is what it is, you know? So, uh, okay. So it does look like Ath is going to be joining us. So once he comes back, it'll all be fixed. So let's, let's get to our conversation. So I, the all greed pissed Sly off so much his power went out. That's, yeah. you know, have you, you seen Monsters Inc. where she's like crying or she's like laughing how the lights, like that's what happened with Sly with his anger. He got so angry that all the power went out. So that's unfortunate. Uh, so the reason why is in the Japanese community side of things. Mm. Everyone goes on their main so that they are playing the job that is most efficient for them to contribute as much as possible. That makes sense. Thus, it's difficult to get gear when you have to greed and the people who are on their mains are needing, and everyone's just doing it to contribute as much mm. as possible. So it's a social norm over there. Yeah. Now, people do that here, but most of the time people are like, well, I'm on this job. If somebody rolls like, I'm not going to be like, no. You know, yeah. it's whatever. You just only get pissed if it's like you have two black mages, the other dude has a 370 chest piece, and then they still take your body piece because they want it for glam, even though you're like 330 body piece or something mm -hmm. like that. That's what happens over here. So all greed yeah. is meant to counteract that so people can go on the jobs they're most proficient on but still have an equal chance of obtaining loot. Makes sense. Makes sense. Now, with all due respect, as much as it makes sense, please don't. Yep. <laughs> I can't. Because, yeah. It just it, it, it caters to half the community. It's like the other half, it doesn't even apply to in any way, shape, or form, really. And it just muddles things up. And it, I mean, here's the thing if someone really wants something, they'll just go on the job and get it. Yeah. So when I think of this, my first thought is those poor tanks. No kidding. 
Because why would you want to... So tanks have the longest queues for 24 mans. Because there's mm. only three slots among 24 total. And people, I don't know, I guess more tanks queue for 24 mans on other content. So it's just, it's their queue is longer. Yep. I would not be motivated to tank for a dungeon that I needed loot for when the DPS are taking my loot. <laughs> yep. And that was like, that was the trade-off for the long queue. It's like, at but least that's it. it. If it drops, it's yours. Yep. Now, that... <laughs> To be fair, there's plenty of times where I roll on tank, but I just hope the tank doesn't need it. Mm. That's fine. Because he didn't need it. Yeah. But it's just... I just don't agree with this. I just don't. It's it's a weird change. It's out of nowhere, too. Yeah. It feels like. It's just like, there it is. Hey, we're doing this. It's like, why? No one really wanted this. I don't think. I'm I'm going to put this another way. And it's not going to sound great. Mm. But when I do 24 mans, I exclusively play healer. Because quite frankly, I don't know if all 24 people are on their mains other than me, or the other 23 people are on their mains. But the amount of dead people certainly doesn't suggest it. (laughs) There's a lot of dead people in there. There's There's a lot of dead people in there. And I'm willing to take greed rolls over, you know, it, you know, if, they, if their loot drops, or whatever, they get the need. But I'm there to cater to the other player, and I don't always quite feel that the player who's dead sixty percent of the fight and made me burn all my mana particularly deserves said loot. <laughs> I'm of I'm of that side of the opinion. Mm-hmm. Where now not only do they get what they could try to roll on the loot. I guess the good news is they can get fucked on their own loot too now. To maybe the tank's like, fuck it. See that? See that guy right there? That's mine. I want that body piece. I'm going to roll. Oh, look at that. A 99. Yeah. So maybe that guy. Maybe and I feel like people are spiteful enough to actually do that on purpose. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, it definitely invites a lot of weird things like that. And then on top of it all, I think one of the. The biggest issues it's already hard enough to target a specific piece like if you really like i want this body and you run it 20 times a week and you see it once but you're the only tank so you get it now you run it 20 times and you see it once and then you potentially have to roll against seven other people and you lose it and you gotta run it another 20 times just to see it drop again just to lose it it's frustrating. Here's what I suggest, which is not a great suggestion, but based on the current way it works, this is all I can come up with. Hmm. Make party finders and don't allow people who need, or I try to at minimum allow people who have duplicate roles that share loot. Yeah. I mean, that's what I was saying. Like now, basically, if you want to run, make a pre-made. Make a pre-made and call the piece you want. I'd have to yep. say you'd have to do. I think that's going to become the norm. If I think go. it is. I think it is too. People are, I mean, it's, there's still going to be cases where people join and they, two people want the same piece of loot. Yeah. But you have the option of leaving at that point if you don't want to roll yeah. against somebody. So mm-hmm. it leaves a little bit more. I, I just feel like that's going to be the thing. It's going to be a trust yeah. system, but it's, it's the best yeah. thing I can come up with. Yeah, players will work around it if it goes yeah. through. We can't even loot master it, nor would I necessarily trust the party finder to loot master anything. Yeah. But it's a, uh, it's a uh, yeah. I mean, luckily we have the weekly limit to mitigate it a bit. Yep. I it still doesn't really stop the majority of the concerns yeah. that we have. And it's also just because if people are running it, chances are they want something from it, and you don't so, know what that is. Yeah. You know, but luckily, once that person who rolls greed on everything finally wins something, be like, get that guy the fuck out of here. But then they'll be out of the pool and they won't be running again. So mm-hmm. someone else will take their place. Yeah, that's going to be fun. It's a weird choice. Yeah, we'll see if to see how it pans out. I have a feeling that that call your own loot party finders are going to be very common here. Yep. 
And because of the weekly lockout, I don't suspect many people will just lie about the piece that they want. Mm-hmm. Um, outside of being really, really desperate to get in there in the first place. Yep. Um, but we'll see. There's there's no way of knowing how it'll turn out till it's done. And Sly's still not back yet. I've been trying to delay on this topic for very long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh the old two man show. Hey. It, yeah, and you're still and you're still in half. I can still I can still go yeah. down here Whoa. and be a part of you. We'll be a part of your box at the very least. I don't even have to be in my own box. Get out of here. Cool. No. Stop. Boy. You can't you don't own me. And the worst part is right now I'm speaking into the side of my microphone that's turned off. Ooh. So that's, nice. that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Now now if you lose power, I'm fucked. So You're right. It'd be a monologue. It's gonna be a monologue. Hey, he's back. Okay, Mary, Ooh. here's what I need you to do. Okay. Click the video button to turn it uh-huh. off and then turn it back on. Now there we go. We're a show again, ladies and Yay. gentlemen. We're a show again. We did it. Sly, hello. Oh, everyone saw my name. Oh, no. They saw it very merry. No, it said Joe. <laughs> okay. Hi, Joe. There you go. Hi. It's all right. I'll call you Beatles. So that's what your hat says. Eat. Remember? Yeah, it's, it's the eat hat. Eat hat. All right. Eat all right. pants. Sly, are you ready to continue with the show? Or are you fixing something? Are you fixing uh, anything? No, no, every everything should be good. So Sly, okay. what do you think about all greed? <laughs> yeah, I was I was listening in like on my phone in the conversation. I hate that it's come to the point where we actually have to, you know, do pre made parties for an alliance raid. Right? Like it Like it goes back to what Mary was saying when you when you do when you run shit twenty times just to see it once, and then someone beats you by like one fucking point. Like you roll a 90, 98 and somebody somehow some way by the grace of God rolls a ninety nine. Oh, I'm gonna be doing this forty more times. Yay. Um. Yeah. I, when when I first heard that, I, I thought it was a, a translation issue. I'm like, well, well, this can't be right. No. Oh. It could be a translation issue, and it could not be final. Mm-hmm. Do- doubles advocate, let's say this is true. This fucking sucks. <laughs> like, because honestly, there's no other way to really put it. This fucking sucks. And yeah, just having to do the whole, you know, nobody's going to trust the fucking rando loot master anyway, so... It just fucking sucks. Well, you also can't loot master the 24 mans, I believe. Yeah, I think that's right. I don't that think true? you can because I don't think each party you, just, you might be able to if you make a full twenty four people, maybe. Mm. Are we really gonna go through that amount no. of work to do? That? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly, no. But no. uh, they, I I don't know because I don't I never loot master anything. I've never been brought to that point. Mm. Really, never loot mastered anything. No, I've been in groups yeah. that have loot master. Like I think okay. um I think our raid leader loot masters to make sure that he can just send like if people need loot so they don't leave before they pick it up, yeah. he just like immediately mm-hmm. like puts it in people's inventories. That's it. Because we have lists of who gets what and everything. But right. I've never like right. been loot master. You don't like the control? I don't trust other people with it and therefore I sh- I don't want it either. It's a fair, fair approach. Yeah. 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 I can understand. Okay. Good, good, good. Now, there's also the implication of the 24-man raids that already have unlocked loot that sometimes players try to pick up new stuff in, whether it be glam or anything. That's going to be hilarious because there's no way not everyone presses the greed button on everything, oh, yeah. whether it be it's seals, cool. decent, yeah. glamour, doesn't matter. Yep. Yeah. New players yeah. trying to get gear and rabbit aster. Good luck. Good luck, because we're gonna probably go go be going back in there every week. Grab an aster. Well, no doubt that Grab they the do coin. the same thing for the coin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Start stocking up. So for twenty four man raids going forward, do you think they need a token system similar to the eight mans? Absolutely, that'd be nice. Honestly, 
Maybe not, um, because you only get one piece of loot across all four bosses, make the yeah. token itself be a full piece instead of yeah. having two or four tokens. But yeah. do you think we need that going forward? And then each boss has certain tokens that it drops, so you know, which boss, or even if they just want to make the tokens random, whatever. I don't, I don't know. Alternatively, just keep the actual drops in there raw. Yeah. But every time you clear, you get like a token and if you get like eight tokens you can buy a piece that you want or something obviously so not like eight have, tokens but uh, yeah, but like a set yeah, of you can get i was about to say so you don't have to run it like maybe you can get like four in a week and it costs four to buy a piece of gear so two weeks way, for a piece of gear that way you're not just like one run and you're done no matter what yeah but i agree with that yeah. i think one run and done is definitely a bigger problem than yeah. than the problem we have now because then by wednesday it's impossible yeah wednesday mm -hmm. thursday um but something like something that i don't know just so you feel by the end of the week so you're not fucked yeah looking for an alternative so that by the end of the week you've, you know even if you had to run it multiple times at least you're not fucked you yeah. know so i'm okay with the option of the coin being a choice between upgrading the 370 and picking a 360 piece because by five weeks you'd have you know, all the yeah. pieces for a full set anyway yeah. And you end up getting way more coins across than the patch than you usually need unless you play, like, five different jobs. That actually, yeah, that's that's solid. Yeah. I mean, then again, it still has the problem of one and done. But if you're yeah. if you're just going for the coin in the first place, you're already one and done. Yeah. So, exactly. I don't know. I'm one and done every week. Giggity. But that's, that's it. So, there's a bunch of options. They're looking at feedback. We'll We'll get an official response about it about how they're taking the feedback probably in the next live letter. So please look forward to it. Hi. Hi. There you go. Hi. Next thing, Sly, something we were super unsure about last week, but we got our answer. The new Deep Dungeon is indeed in the 4.3X series. Were we really unsure about this? We were, we think... were, we were unsure. We, you were more sure than I was. I'll give you that. Yeah. You were more sure. Mary, how did you did you think we were gonna get the deep dungeon in the series, or did you think that it seemed like we might be Jenga, waiting? Longer? Yeah, I thought it was coming. Okay, all right. I feel like I'm the only one who at this point didn't expect it. It's because of something we haven't spoken about yet, is the reason why I didn't expect it. But it is indeed heaven on high, as everyone predicted. Mm -hmm. No one was surprised by this. And uh, I'm glad I'm glad that we're getting this on schedule from the last expansion, which was in 3.35 when we got Palace of the Dead. This is now going to be your new permanent leveling option from 60 to 70. Enjoy. <laughs> Luckily, all my jobs are 70 already, so I only have to worry about it in the next expansion. Only from floors 1 to 30, though. Yes. So that is the next piece of it. It is, a one, it is 100 floors at base. Um, and the first 30 floors appear to be what would be considered our floor 1 through 50, or even technically our floor 1 through 100 in the previous one. Um, after floor 31 is when you get the post-100 Palace of the Palace of the Dead experience. So how do we feel about this? Do we feel like this is the right way for them to go about doing that specific type of challenge is to just make it less floors and cram it in? Or would you have liked a different option altogether? I like that it's smaller because it seems like it might be less painful to get into. Yes, which seems to be the big thing in terms of time commitment. Yep. Because going from 51 to 100, not even 51 to 100, because you were doing Red Mage solos. You had to go from one yep. for that Necromancer title. Yep. The average player would just go from 51. But even then, mm -hmm. it's not really till you get to 151 that it becomes like intense. Yep. And then 180 becomes a disaster. Yeah. I think I died on like 170 something. Was that when you disconnected? When I yeah, hosted you and you disconnected? Yep. yep. That's my fault. It's not your fault. I hosted him, but, Sly, and he disconnected and that instantly wipes you. Yeah, so. I yep. remember seeing that. I remember yeah. hearing about that. But do you think people will miss, I guess, the challenge that came with the the extra fours? Like, well, I wouldn't say extra. Now it's extra, but um i'd still call them extra having, floors yeah of having a lot of floors to deal with rather than just you know depends on how hard the new ones are i think we're gonna get to the 180 plus feeling quite early because that yeah. that was 100 bonus floors this is 70 bonus floors so you have to imagine the way it's scaled is a little bit differently yeah i think it's it's not only 
yeah, it's it's going to be challenging, but I think the challenge, the added challenge, was the fatigue you had when you were in it. Like you, you I mean, depending on how how long you're going, people did marathon sessions of this, and like you you would get tired, you would get pretty fucking tired as you went along, as you got to closer to um the final floors and everything. So yeah, I think that's kind of what gave it that challenge and having less floors to deal with. I mean, it takes away a little. Um, I, I, I don't know how I feel. I'm, I'm actually quite happy that 431 plus is considered the 101 plus experience. That was always my favorite part of Palace of the Dead after it was yeah. incorporated. I loved soloing past 101 on Monk, and then I tried it on Red Mage, which I didn't do great on because I didn't know the job well enough. But it was, I, I loved doing it. Mm-hmm. And with only 30 floors to climb before reaching this point, I am excited because I feel like if I wipe on 70, you know what? That just means I'll, I'll try it again tomorrow and I don't have to worry about doing another 50 floors yep, before exactly. I get there. Um, doing 30 floors is, you know, not necessarily that much less, but it's less. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I'm looking forward to what this is offering. As a necromancer hunter, that's 30 compared to 100. That's huge. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's 30 compared to 100. Yeah, it's a much bigger deal if you're going to... Because we already know there's only one person in the world who has the Necromancer title, which is clearing yeah. Palace of the Dead 1 to 200 solo, no deaths, or no disconnects along the entire way. <laughs> and... Level Red Mage. Yeah, just Red Mages, get ready, because this is your next... This is yep. your next challenge, Red Mage. I don't, I mean, maybe it's different. I'm so, ready. Well, the big thing that we have to question about soloing with the next deep dungeon is that we, we don't exactly know how it plays compared to Palace of the yeah. Dead. It might not even be soloable because they said it's going to be challenging for man. But they said, they did say the same thing about 101 Plus. 101 Plus was initially designed as challenging content for, for four players. We're going to be for ready, very ready. For ready, yeah. But the big thing that they revealed is that Grand Summoning, a feature we've only heard in, in fairy tales, it will be present in some form inside of Heaven on High. Do we need a refresher on Grand Summoning? <laughs> Sly doesn't believe them. They're like, no, it's not going to happen. Sly, why, why is this bullshit, Sly? Give me, give me a why. How long have we asked this? It's not even what they told us initially, because it's like the incorporation of the way it's being done is nothing like the originally planned like, way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and first of all, like that, that in itself, but again, how long? And then we're getting something completely, I guess, different from what we asked for. I never asked for Grand Summoning. They said they were doing it, and then it never came. To be fair, I never once said, hey, we should absolutely have this. I was just like, no, 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 not not just saying that you didn't, but, you know, it's it's been, it hasn't really been asked. It's just they said it, and then we're, we, the community, are like, okay, when are we actually getting this? Okay, when are we actually getting this? Okay, when are we actually getting this? (laughs) And we, we're finally getting it, and it's different from what we we expected. So, man, that's all I can really say to this is just man. I guess the question is, they didn't really talk about how it works in there because the way it was originally proposed to us is the way what they and they mentioned it in the in the live letter. Originally, it was supposed to be guilds would fight over killing a summon, and then they would be able to use it one time in another piece of content. And it would change. Mm-hmm. No, you could use it in the open zones, and it would like change the weather. And... Yeah, exactly. But you'd use it one time, yep. basically, and then it'd be gone. Um, and now we're getting this. You know, it's a four man, one to four man content inside of this enclosed area. Um, is it still? You know, are we gonna find Susano randomly on a floor and then obtain it like a pomander and then use it on a later floor? Jolly cooperation. What? He's gonna, he's gonna write. He, he, Susan knows he's gonna fuck. He's gonna write his white. He's gonna fuck. He's got a white soapstone. He's gonna write his name. You're gonna summon him. It's he's weird that I can imagine Susano him. saying the words "jolly cooperation." Yeah, weird. Yeah, it's kind of odd. He's jolly. Yeah. He's Solaire. 
If you say so. He's the Solaire of 14. If you say so. I've he never once seen him praise the sun. So that's 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 all on Amaterasu. I've never seen him. Come on. Never seen it. Never seen it. Are you going like this or like this? Because it's hands up, palms out. Palms out. There you go. Praise the sun, palms out. There you go. Never seen him do it. I just want to know how this works. And also, are there are there still just commanders in there? Like the old ones? Are there new commanders? Like, are we going to have new things that people are going to glitch and get out of there and take them into fucking Savage like we had with the old one? Like, I don't know. <laughs> And we're gonna are people gonna bring the grand summonings into the fucking <laughs> savage raids like they did the commanders? Is that's oh is that God. dude? I'm I'm waiting for it now because the commander thing survived so many patches and, and Reddit posts. But after Unger Max, I feel like they're gonna crack Unger down Max, on yeah. it. Take, take a seat, Unger Max. <laughs> take a seat, yeah, Unger Max. I brought yeah. Susano. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Giant> sword. <laughs> That would be some shit right there to be in the um, middle of fighting Omega and you're like, oh yeah, you brought Sephiroth? I brought Susana. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't wait to see how that pans out. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to heaven on high. My only remaining question. We're getting floors 30 to 100. We're already getting what were considered the 101 plus floors. How do they expand upon this? Do they do another update to Heaven on High where more floors are added or a different set of floors are added or something? They do 101 to 130. Which is weird because... Yeah, you, it'd, be, it'd be weird. Is it just maybe they go down. Yeah, maybe we go down. We go B1 to B100. There you go. There's, there's more yeah. down there. Yeah. In the basement. Hell below. Yeah, the hell below. We have Heaven on High and we have Hell's Lid. They're on opposite sides of the map. What do you know? Mm. Mm. I feel like there's some symbolism there. It's the lid. It's Hell's Lid. It's not. Hell. It is the lid, but under that. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm assuming there's Hell. That's where the, that's where the tower goes. It's the, yeah. It's the elevator. There you go. It's the elevator. Yeah. I can't wait to just hell, find out this thing is elevator. fucking Allegan. Ooh, it's it's probably Allegan on the inside. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. So one last question. Rewards. Unlike the last deep dungeon where we didn't really have an interim reward, we now have, we have Eureka. We have, uh, actually, we have about the same amount of rewards. I just, I don't know how I, how it fits in reward wise with weapons. If it's just going to be glowy weapons again. Yeah. I don't know with, with Eureka, with, 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 um, I guess it's all the, I guess it's the same amount of weapons. Just feels like there's more weapons to me. For some reason. I feel like there's just not as much of a place for it as there was last time. I think it's easier to get weapons. Yeah, that might be it. That might be it. You have easier access to the options. So do we think reward structure here is different? Some people are, I see in the chat, one is some people want accessory choices finally. I think but it's going to be weapons, but yeah, something new would be cool. Glowy accessories. You got, <laughs> got rings just... Full on bling. Glowy bling. It's definitely going to give potions. I feel confident about that. Definitely some out. potions. Bring those out. They're going to be high potions. They're going to find a way to smuggle everything out of that. Yep, exactly. All right, so we have heaven on high. Great. We did confirm we will be getting the next zone of Eureka in 4.35. Pagos, the ice zone. It was so far off from the name, though, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a few different words in Greek because Cryos was the name that we originally predicted, but Pagos is another. Yeah, they're different. I think yeah. they're from different points in Greece's history. One's ancient Greece, one's more modern. I think it was what the difference is. But uh, Pagos, the ice zone, so uh, it'll be hail weather to, to summon Snoo Snoo. That's replacing Pazuzu. It's Snoo Snoo. You couldn't come up with something better. No, Snoo Snoo. The Abominable Snowman. Come the on. Abominable Yeti. Snoo Snoo. It was either that or Yeti. Snow Zuzu. Snow Zuzu. That, that, that one, that's funny. I like Snow Zuzu. <laughs> death by Snoo Snoo. It's going to be Death by Snoo Snoo. Nah, but who, seriously, who are we thinking? <laughs> like, we don't know. It's going to be a Void Lord. 
That's all we can really, I guess, predict is there'll probably be a Void Lord. I mean, I can figure this out, probably. Yeah, it's Snoo Snoo. Mesopotamian oh, okay. Ice God. There you go. Mesopotamian Ice God. Give me it. Let me see. Is there any? I don't, I don't got any. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wait, so it's to the west. Okay. I don't get anything. <laughs> All I know yeah. is now, instead of asking if Pazuzu is up, it's going to be is Snoo Snoo up. That's it. Snow Zuzu. Snow Zuzu. Um, also, something that's mentioned in Slicer's translation that we don't have in front of us, but I've, a bunch of people have told me that they read this in Slicer's. Hopefully this is accurate. Is that um, the thing that they mentioned in the Dengeki interview about adding in the ability to target specific mobs, hunt for specific mobs is going to be part of the catch-up mechanics to Onimos as well, where you'll have daily and weekly hunts that you can do to that you can do on your own time, in a sense. So uh, that's going to be something we're also expecting to see in Pagos. But uh, that's what the translation led people to believe. That's what's been conveyed to me, so hopefully it's accurate. Fingers crossed. Haven't fact-checked that one, so grain of salt. Um, but yeah, Pagos, I now have the prediction. Now we can, I feel... Relatively say that Eureka will be one new zone of patch. Which I feel like maybe why they delayed to 4.25. Yeah. Or, or I guess not delayed. Decided to release it at mm -hmm. 4.25. Because they probably wanted to get as much work done visually on all the zones. And also they probably only wanted to do four, four or five. Like they probably have a set amount of zones. So they probably wanted to release it at a certain point. So they could yeah. just get those zones out. Which is good. More Eureka. More updates. Yeah. More elemental levels. More trains. More snoo snoo. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. More snoo snoo. It's all right. Okay. All right. Good. I'm glad you agree sure. with me. Okay. I'm glad you 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 agree with me. Sure. Yeah. Completely agree. Universally. Yeah. All right. All right. There you go. And then we get some slide Jesus up in here. There you go. Trying to orange Jesus his way into being Sly Jesus right now. The ultimate fight is going to be Ultima Weapon. Uh, ultimate Ultima. It's Ultima Weapon Ultimate. Uh, You're going to get Ultimate Ultima Weapon Weapons. So that's going to be a discussion point soon. Hmm. Possibly. I never thought about that. Ultima I'm Weapon never... Ultimate Weapons. No. So... Ult ultimate Ultima Weapon Weapons. Both of them are correct, okay? Yeah. Mine's yeah. funnier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then, you, I guess you got me there. <laughs> yep. Mine's funnier. He wins. Yeah. That's it. Um, so it's going to be it's gonna be Ultima Weapon. Obviously, he's not going to be alone. I don't think anyone would expect him to be. Uh, at this point, people are questioning, are we going to fight Gaius beforehand? Are it going to be the Primals? It's going to be three of the Realm Reborn Primals. Is it going to be six of the Realm Reborn Primals? You know, and then what's Golden Ultima going to look like? Because we all know he's going to turn fucking gold at some point or platinum or some yeah. shit. But uh, yeah. is his Proto Ultima going to swipe down and be like, I'm here too, bro. What's going on? <laughs> like, there's, there's all we know is it won't be him alone. Right. Um, And I guess that's where the predictions start. Where where do, where do you, uh, who is accompanying Ultima Weapon? Gaius. You did not sound convicted with that one. Gaius, of course Gaius. I feel like you're just being Ephes right well, now. No, he's going to be the first phase. Okay. Sly? Please slap us down. Sly? We know there's Golden Gaius. When he gets when he gets pissed, he turns into Golden Gaius. Yeah. All right, Sly, what are you doing? I think we're dealing with the first three. Um, a Realm Reborn Primal, so um, Garuda, Ifrit, Titan, and then Ultima subsequently subsequently eats them or consumes them. Yeah, what did he like? Like he did in, in the cutscene. Yeah, he he absorbs Reborn. their ether. Yeah, basically, and that's the Ultima we fight. Okay, so I agree with you for one reason above all else. Mm -hmm. Unlike Bahamut, 
Ultima Weapon gave accessories. Not weapons. So people are already looking at the rewards here and being like, so what the fuck is it going to be? Weapons. Yeah. The answer is very clearly weapons, but who's? The Primals... The Primals already have... There's already two versions of them, but... Gun weapons. <laughs> that don't actually work. There will be a gun for Machinist. Put a gun on the Machinist gun. Put more guns on the Machinist yeah. gun? Gun okay. blade. Gun gun. It shoots more guns. It's a gun gun. A gun you that shoots more orb? guns. Inside the orb is just a gun. Okay. All right. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear any of that. And... <laughs> Guardian weapons. I know what you meant. Yeah. I guess if you're going to commit to that idea, you have to commit to the idea of the weapons as well. So, all right. I'll forgive you. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll forgive you. But some either either super versions of the really popular weapons from the old primals or abomination, mis m you know, matches, like just combining them of of the, the three primal weapons. Like, t I totally cool. expect a Titan Axe to pop up with like an ultimate Titan Axe because that was a very popular axe still is a very popular axe so do you <clears throat> do you honestly think they're gonna cherry pick which weapons we get if this is the case i think they come out with new weapons i, th I if they do i feel like they combine the models in some way and it looks and it looks fucking stupid but i'm not the whole thing with ultimate's always been reusing assets the only reason why i'm throwing my prediction in that direction but we only had one ultimate yeah but i mean the concept they laid forth to us was that yeah. they're not new fights, they're not, like, it's not new assets, it's it's reused assets, retooled mm -hmm. assets made more spectacular, more extravagant, more coveted, in a sense, on top of the fights, you know, doing new things like Golden Bahamut. Mm -hmm. I mean, picture this. It's good. Gladiator, you have Gunblade, guys, it's Gunblade, and you have the shield... From what the guy who you murder in in Westwind in like five seconds now, Rattan, yeah, right, and that's that's Paladin, and then you got Dark Knight gets the big ass two handed gun blade that the one guy that we killed or got killed had in Heaven's Ward, and then you got the the gun Bognox or whatever that the Livia had for Monk. And then warriors can get the big ass fucking Molnir hammer that Nero had. Nero had. And then they can just offend some new ones for everybody else. <laughs> I want the hammer. I feel like you ran out of. I feel like you didn't even include Xenos for the katana. You just threw it out. Oh yeah, samurai. I mean, we, we ran out of garlands though. That's the thing. You're gonna eventually run out of garlands. You just run out of garlands at that you point. You can have the big ass thing. With all the katanas, that'd be sweet. That's it. You just you just run out of you just run out of garlands at that point. They can just make new stuff. But I, I just want the. Hand. I just don't. I, I'm I'm my predictions leaning towards there's nothing new, new like from its base model being created, and that it's they're gonna just cherry pick their the top community favorites from uh, from Ifrit and Titan. I think there's a possibility for the other for it to be all six primals, um, with you fighting two at a time. But each phase, mm -hmm. the big thing is they say the fight will be shorter. So let's yep. let's say fifteen mm -hmm. to sixteen minutes versus nineteen and a half, yeah. which is what it is now. So let's assume that there's they're probably gonna have a, a five. It's probably five phases again. So I'm so we're gonna let's let's just go under the assumption that on average it's three minutes a phase, with three minutes primal, three minutes primal, probably less than that if I had to predict. But three minute primal, three minute primal, three minute primal, or in your case, Gaius three. I don't know. However, you, how do you want to break that up? Guys at the start. Okay. Guys jumps into fucking robot. Turns into Gundam. All right. What the he, he, he only thing he jumps into is Ultima. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So you're saying he's gonna jump into Ultima. Okay. Yeah. Was, How long is the guy's second. face? Three minutes. Okay. And he hops and he hops into Ultima. And then Ultima, you're fighting Ultima, and Ultima will like disappear and primals will appear, and you fight one at a time, two at a time. Three at a time, Ultima reappears, shit's happening, and then you defeat Ultima. Ultima explodes. And at the end, it's they finally, they finally get to do justice to La Habrea. I don't think you give that man justice at any point. I do actually feel like La Habrea is going to be part of the encounter in some way. I do feel like he will be. Yeah. That's Who's where I disagree. Yeah. Yeah. 
Make mm. them their own. Because here's the thing. It's not Praetorium Ultimate. It's Ultima Weapon Ultimate. So, I mean, here's the thing. If they're if they're moving on the Praetorium side of things, then you start to lean towards this direction. But I feel mm. at the, my core, as much as I'd like to believe La Habrea gets involved some way, which is totally mm. possible because let's be, I, I mean, just remember, Phoenix wasn't part of the Bahamut encounter. He was in there. They had a whole scene for him. You know, that's that was something brand new. Yeah. We're using existing assets. And then it's just a matter of determining if we are just looking at the Ultima weapon hard mode where it's it's Ultima and then it, the way that trend the way that transpires and then just, you know, obviously have it a little bit more involved or mm-hmm. it depends on how close of a retelling they want this to be to yeah. your encounter with Ultima weapon versus all of those back to back encounters in the Praetorium. Yep. Yeah. I'm totally down with with La Habrea because he knows the secret of how Ultima Weapon fully functions. Yeah. Yep. And, and we learn that. And he cool. and he insults Gaius for not knowing how to use it. Yeah. So I feel like there's there's room for that to like really kind of just just blow people's minds. So yeah. that's why I want to believe that they are gonna make it more story oriented to, towards the Praetorium. But I don't think Gaius will be there. I do think it'll be the primal, 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 ultima, La Habrea Ultima. That's how I feel. I feel like it's five phases on average, about three minutes each, with some li- with a little bit of RP in between. I'll speak for for at this. Scrum, all right, scrum, all right. Scrum, so scrum, 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 Daddy and all, right. all right, it was is obviously it's going to be Gaius. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's yeah, it. You just have to you just have to you just have to make like a you just have to sound like you're superior to everyone else, and then. <laughs> <laughs> you're right yeah <laughs> like well you know it's, it's gaius was, so i'm right that's that's See, how it is not, when it involves gaius you have to pretend like you're superior to everyone else mm. there you go so gaius lives that's it yeah you know but anyway uh so yeah that's that's uh, that's where you're going with that and uh i'm excited i am yeah. uh I'm, no guys will be a part of it no matter what because he's piloting ultima I want to pretend, uh, yeah. No matter what, he's going to be part of it. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, he's, yeah, probably. He didn't say a word in Ultima Hard. Again, it's about how close they're looking at the Praetorium Cannon versus how close they're just looking at Ultima Hard mode. Well, which, it's, it's not, I won't rule it out. I'm not saying it can't not happen. Gundam. I'm not saying it's it can't happen. Gundam, you got to drive it. It's, uh, you know what, though? The La Rea basically said, I'm going to activate this and fuck you. So maybe he's just pulling the strings the whole time, you know? There you go. I like how he does that, by the way, going all the way back to Patron. He does that, and then he lets Gaius continue. He's like, you suck at this. Watch this. And then he's like, all right, well, now I'll give you another try. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It's like, hey, oh, he fucked up. It's your own fault, idiot. Idiot, nerd. dumb. Bahabre, fucking nerd. All right. So then we have job adjustments, which they can get too specific into. It's just Dark Knight, Samurai, Astrologian. The Black Mage thing, I think, is confirmed towards the bottom that they are not doing Black Mage adjustments. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was just the, the translator heard Black Mage, so they weren't sure what they heard, so they went back and checked. Um, no surprises. Astro is a little bit of a surprise. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, I've last, I've tried to ask a few Astros. A lot of them just say Nocturnal Stance kind of sucks. So, and then, of course, every Astro still wants to pick your card before combat option. Please. Please. <laughs> We all do it anyways. Just make it easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True. That's very just true. Let my Astro pick the cards so I don't have to sit there and wait three minutes as they cherry pick their cards. Yeah. So those are those are the couple of things I've heard Astro has mentioned. Samurai, we already know. It's just straight damage buff. Um, in fact, there's another. Tra- I think Slicer's translation con- further confirms that that it is it is just dps not utility changes but i'll wait till patch notes i don't want to they're all unofficial translations so i'll wait <laughs> and then dark knight who the fuck even knows i feel like they don't fix the core problems people have with dark knight it's just numbers i feel like that's Probably. where they go with this for now yeah yeah we'll see fingers crossed and then uh pvp updates so we could skip that um they didn't really say that much. They just said that they're like mm-hmm. adjusting the current map and that yeah. um, they're gonna do finally the the ro- the daily rotation. Yeah, that, that'll be nice. Thank I'm you. I'm looking Thank forward God. to that because yeah, except when it's shatter. Good. But I'm looking forward to that on any day that it's not shatter. <laughs> yeah, 
Not definitely. Like even secure, I'll take over shatter. Yeah. I mean, definitely because now that we don't have you know the old PvP system where it's like levels don't really matter, it'll be fun to do that stuff. You're not going to be like, oh, we're back to having level sixty or level fifty skills and we're level sixty. Yeah. It's good. I, I I think that this could help with specifically yeah. the frontline side. It's not Rival Wings related, it looks like. It yeah. specifically says it's a frontline, which has been separated. They are not yep. the same thing. One's three teams, one's two teams. And also, Astralagos is one map in, one, in the Rival Wings category. So, it'd be kind of weird yep. to throw it in there. One day, we probably get a daily rotation for Rival Wings. Unfortunately. Because it would mean it gets more things. <laughs> Yep. Which they're already talking yeah. about. So it's all right. The Battle Royale mode will be fine. I'm sure. It's almost sad because I really believe it's going to happen. I don't see looking I don't, a lot realistic I don't at this point. It. I don't want to believe it. I, I don't either. I wish PvP was more active. I do too. What's, well, maybe we all do. They fixed the feast. We all do. I did, I did my 200 match of the feast when it first came out when I got my mount and then the season started and went to shit. But it was still good back then. I still had fun with it. I just didn't mm. like solo queuing as much as I like queuing with with a full team and people weren't doing it. There's, there wasn't enough incentive to do full team queues. Yeah. It, it was funny because I was actually like watching a stream chat at that point. Like in stream was chat. It's all like, resident looking, sleepers. That too. But the the few, please give us the K. Please give us the K that I did see gave me hope even though they didn't give us the K. Like, that's the one thing that will make PvP better. Give us fucking rank decay. Yeah, decay is decay is the big thing that it's yeah. more for people like who are latecomers to the season who want to get involved. Yeah. More people who just straight up don't have as much time. So the few little time they do have if they need to be able to get queues. So mm. there's there's yeah. I, I still don't know why it, they brought it up a long time ago. And never did it. Mm. And it's just it's very, very confusing to me. But uh, it looks like they might be, they said they're making map revisions to Crystal Tower, which I think is a sign that they'll probably bring back having a home instead of respawning where you are, which has been a big complaint about this season. Yeah. So uh, if revising the map, I, I'm uh, fingers crossed for those hardcore feasters that that is a change because that's been a big, big complaint amongst the PvP players. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, Glamour Systems get some updates. You can now reclaim items once you've put them in the dresser. Yeah, so that's true. We, we all thought it was going to be there from the start, and then yeah. they like kind of pulled that statement back a little bit, and then it didn't work. But they immediately got it back in the next patch, so good. Good. That's doing right by us. What I don't understand is why you would want to do them, use those on your squadrons, but... Yeah, the thing <laughs> nobody wanted, but they put it anyways. Probably because it was technically... Uh, it was probably technically not that difficult to do, yeah. or not as difficult as some other things. Like I think it, was pro it would probably be tougher for them to make it does it work? It doesn't work on retainers, does it? You can't use it for your retainers, can you? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Because I'd imagine when any, anything involving little, retainers tends to get more technically difficult to do. Yeah, because it you feels put like you're on them. And yeah, but it's okay. Anything involving retainers, just throw like five dollars a month at it, and you might get to you know organize your inventories a little bit. All right, yeah. we got to move a little faster because my raid's yeah. in thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's let's get this going. Performance action updates. Five new uh, flute note sounds and they're also making they're increasing the quality because the quality of the the sounds is a big complaint most recently so uh they're gonna fix that up although yoshida's like we need to stop doing as many ui updates to this he's like the ui team's too busy on this one feature but they like it and we yeah. get great great performances on twitter so what are you doing that's playing the flute. <laughs> he, he's playing the flute what do you do it's <laughs> Right. That that's a flute sound. That's yeah. great flute sound. <laughs> flute tar. The flute tar. tar. I you meant to say air guitar and flute, then you just said flute tar. Yes. Why not air awesome. flute? Anyway, I'm gonna stop asking questions. At well, this point. Sound like a guitar. Anyways, moving on. All right. Um, housing updates. Adding guest books so somebody can leave a message whenever they visit your I house. Like, like uh, go fuck yourself, which I know is what yeah, all mine would great. say if I had a house. It'd be great. Pretty much. I love my YouTube comment section so much, I figured my house should have it in-game. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Awesome. No, no, no. I have a feeling it's it's going to be fine. It's going gonna, gonna to be fine. It'll be fun. Yeah. I don't, I'm ne I don't have a house, so I'll literally never have to do this. So, uh, 
Lucky me! <laughs> but for those who enjoy it, enjoy it. Getting duty roulette raids. Yeah. That's for nice. Alexander at the very least. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who I don't even do roulettes anymore because I get everything from Eureka. So I like tombstones. Me too, from Eureka. You don't get creation, and creation is money. That's true. Creation is money. Yeah. That sounds like something an evil scientist would say. <laughs> and Alligans were evil scientists. Someone so. earlier said I look like a crazy scientist with my my crazy beard. I feel like the beard isn't the qualify. It should you should need a lab coat to look like one. The, if you had the beard and the lab coat, you'd look like one. I'm wearing a lab coat underneath my. What about the dude from <laughs> Jurassic Park? No, no. He he was crazy. He was. He, I mean, they're all kind of crazy in those uh, movies. Yeah. yeah, finds a way. There you go. Um, but yeah, they only mentioned Alexander. I don't know if the earlier Omega Normals will be in there. I, I Coil will not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Listen, coil one through five could probably swing it almost, but coil six through uh, through yeah. thirteen, I'm much less confident about because it's synced. One through four. One through four. One through <laughs> four. Yeah, because it's synced. So it's mm. yeah. I'm yeah. Just Alexander normal and eventually Omega normal stuff. Yeah. A new, a new NPC delivery NPC who's not a Makote, but you might be able to dress them up. So en right. enjoy that. Cross world right. link shells. But they only fit 64 people for their initial implementation. It's a start. It's a start. They said they just want to make sure it's stable and then give us more yeah. like they did with our inventory. And we all know where that's going to turn up in about five minutes. But anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying. Because that's actually not even five minutes. It's the very next thing. The thing that we had to speed through those things to get to because we got to get this going in like the next 15 minutes. The Final Fantasy 14 companion app. Okay. It's here. I'm checking out. All right, he's I'm checking, checking out. out. It's here. It's here. Fun. Have fun. S Slide. Do you have to pay five dollars a month to use your 3ds? To get Nintendo coins? To get Nintendo nuts? You're not not go to me into this man. I'm not, not going to go me into. Well, this. I'm. I mean, well, you and I both can roll action that, but we know no one ever does that. <laughs> that look. <sighs> you used to call okay. me on my cell tone. <laughs> I was not ready for that. I want I want the little cell tome emote. Okay. Yeah. 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 She used to call me on my cell tome. Yeah, that's mm. that's the image that they have there. So the yeah, final phase right. so the final phase 14 companion app is a free to download application for your smartphone device that has certain functions such as chat and access to your in-game inventory and market board. That's a good sales pitch right there, right? Yep. No. <laughs> All right, Sly, let's hear you do it then. No. <laughs> they don't say mine was bad. Mine was great. It was wonderful. My Thanks, The man. pitch was... I'm going to talk about the app, but let's talk about the pitch. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. You can sell water, you can sell water to a fucking well. Oh. I'll, you take, could, I'll buy some snake oil from you. You got yeah. some snake oil for me? That's not water or a well. And you're not a and you're not a snake. Am I? <laughs> oh, you got me there. You got me there. Um so Yoshida says please use it. Um Okay. Okay. That's convincing enough. So there's mm. a free app and then there's a premium service for said free application. Well, that's fine. You know, as long as the as long as the free stuff is, you know, whatever. As long as it's got basic functionality, right? So you know, regardless, yeah, the company has to make money, right? Yeah. Right. So, yeah. So I have the, thoughts on that. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we have the free we have the free version, which has the chat and scheduler, which it accesses your in-game friends list and lets you send messages to people. Um, it syncs with the friends list. I don't know if you could speak to them while they're playing the game or if they have to look at the app. I'm under the impression you have to be using the app. But I, I won't say anything for certain. Um, and it has a scheduler where you can issue invites. You can configure notifications. You can use it to communicate you know, outside the game. You know, that's whatever. You can you can, you can manage your inventory. Like, if, you, if you're at work and you're just like, man, my potions were, were two slots to the left. I need to fix that. You just yeah. go on your phone and just move them two slots to the left. 
and that's free. Wait, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Sly, you uh, you, how's that? Uh, is that beer? What is that? Yes. What is it? Yeah. Is it a beer? Yeah. Yeah it, is. yeah, it is. Okay, great, great. That's <sighs> all right. That's I feel similar. You can you can uh, organize your armory chests for yeah that all the eureka stuff you got from the lock boxes that's in there you can do that woo uh, but if you want to do your saddlebags or retainers that's premium okay so i'm going to throw this feature out the window because i've never been so desperate on the go to manage inventory that i want to do this i'm just going to basically mirror what, or say the same thing you said during your live stream on saturday like, which I completely 150% agree with. This is a very Japanese app. It is. It is it because is we, very we, this is not something that in the Western market is very attractive to many people thus far mm -hmm. with what we've described. But mm -hmm. um, people, but lives are much more on the go over there. So things like this are actually incredibly valuable. Right. It'll do great over there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Over here, we, that, we won't, but... we don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. It's it's definitely a big cultural divide there. Yeah. No, well, no, 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 no. I won't say that we we have Discord. They have Line. Up. You know, like mm -hmm. I mean, we we both we all have our apps. We have text. Like they use the like, Japanese. The app I believe is called Line. Um, mm -hmm. that's like the big that's the big like uh chatting app in Japan. Mm -hmm. Um, we have Discord, which is why the chat feature is immediately not that attractive to me, is because I'm already thinking Discord. I don't know how it's mm -hmm. how it's popular. It's going to be with with Line. Um over there mm -hmm. and then managing inventory this one i do th i like i there are times where i want to do inventory management and i don't want to do it on stream which is when i play so mm -hmm. i guess i kind of see it but i'm just not thinking one. of paying five dollars a month to organize my retainers yeah you know like that's something that and, and get an at. extra one on top of that we didn't even get to that yet oh boy yeah. um there's some more free stuff. You can peruse the market board and put items up for sale and purchase the items, which we'll have to cover more in a second. But if you're premium, your saddlebag gets doubled. Holy shit! Not, not, the, first, not the first time people have, have paid for an inventory expansion. Tom Fancy 11 did it. That's true. I forgot about that until you just said that. I completely... They have it now, too. They actually can buy even more spaces with the wardrobes yeah um and you get and now it says an additional retainer can be hired um i believe slicer's translation had was i guess a little bit more in depth but it seems most people are on the side of that this includes the retainer and is not simply an open slot yeah through which no. it can be created i think you get one okay because it'd be pretty bad yeah. if you had to then yeah. go purchase another one also i don't they'd have to update the mod station to cover an additional slot which i don't yeah yeah and, and that's you know in a sense if that's how it is it definitely makes it a little more appealing because then it essentially if you already pay for a retainer you can just get rid of one pay five bucks you pay two bucks extra for the app and then three for your retainer. and then on top of that because you're paying three dollars extra for the app you in the app you can take the items off the retainer that you want to get rid of and then put them on the new retainer that because you're already paying for the premium there you go there you go um either way uh, the saddlebag thing is uh listen i don't even need the space it's just conceptually it's like yeah just that's not what I no mean. <laughs> that, i mean that's what i'm trying to say without saying it is no so, say no basically to me what it says is they needed something to hook people and they didn't have anything else right so they just threw that in yeah that's that's how it feels because i feel like this probably started as free and they decided to add premium like as they were developing yeah. it and so that's Getting it to communicate with the servers, they probably said we should we need some sort of yeah, something we need cost something effective. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. We're not speaking for them. We're just guessing. Yeah, but that's right. that's our best guess. That kind of development is probably not very cheap. Nope. But all the same, um, then so when you log in every day, if you're free, you get a coupon nut, and you free. can coupon nuts, free coupon nuts, Woo! free 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 coupon nuts, and you can. 
uh, you can give one of those to a Moogle who will then take, he allows you to interact with the market board. Um, because our interaction with Moogles has been so great up until this point, right? Well, boy. Why right. use them now? Well, you can abuse them too. So it'll be all right. And uh, with that, you're able to basically perform an action on the market board. Put an item up, uh, purchase an item. I think even adjusting a price costs a coupon nut. So, uh, but when you're free, you only get the nut once a day. All right. But if you pay a little extra, you get double the nuts. Two nuts. Two nuts. You get two nuts. You get... I mean, that, the phrase you usually have to pay extra for that has never been more true. Gotta pay extra if you want to nut twice. Yeah. But at least, at least even, at least for free, you get, you can, you can get, the, you can get the daily nut. Yeah. There you go. And then you can, you can give your nut to the Moogle. A nut a And day. he'll do, he'll do whatever, he'll do whatever you ask. You give him the nut, he'll do whatever you want. Yeah. He or she. Don't know what kind of Moogle it is. You know. Um, but this is only two nuts a day is like, when I think about that, it's like, okay, they want to limit market board access. Because they don't want people on the go just fucking with the market board constantly. Because it'll, like, they, you yeah. can't beat those people. See, what you can do is you can just not nut all week and then just nut all day on the weekend. Well, I mean, when you're premium, though, you do get a, you do get a higher maximum nut. Yeah, well, you get two nuts a day, so like if you. Don't but the, no, there there is a maximum. Even even without that, oh, there is yeah, a maximum right. number of nuts right. that you can store up that's right. to then use oh, all at once. God. <laughs> so, but with the premium, when you pay a little more, you get a higher maximum nut. Yeah, you can nut more. Yeah, well, you can store more nuts. It's yeah, like which will allow you to nut more in the end. Yeah, if exactly. You can go longer. You can go longer without nutting, and nut more. When you do, yeah. You to, okay. Yeah. No, that's that's accurate. Yeah. That that's accurate. Okay. Um, but that so to me that's that seems fine. Limiting it to one or two times a day, whatever. We've already established that if you really value the inventory space, that an extra nut a day is not really the thing that's that's coercing you here. Mm -hmm. This is where it got the most heated. Was when they announced there would also be Moogle coins which are the companion app currency, which can perform functions similar to your nuts. BitConnect! It's, Mo it's MoogleCoin. MoogleCoin. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking BitConnect. I forgot about that. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a while. Me either. There you go. Um, yeah, it's... Cryptocurrency. Yeah, this is, this is the Final Fantasy XIV crypto. Not really, but... No, sorry. Yeah. Be really. And so that's, uh, and then they do the same things. And that's where it got a little crazy because then people are concerned about people who actually are willing to buy these coins in en masse and fuck with the boards. Whales. Yeah. Whales. We already have Mog Station whales. And you know, those of you who buy Fantasias, you know who you fucking are. Don't lie to me. We have people who are retainer whales. Ash, I know you'll see this. And now we're going to have coin. We're going to have companion app whales. Some of you are already thinking about doing it. And I know you are. So that's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of money that you can pay. You could pay $12 a month and then pay another uh, six. What is it? Six. No, it's nine is the maximum right now for retainers. Yeah, so that means you could buy seven and then, and then, yeah. Okay. So it's another $14 a month if you want retainers. Then another five dollars a month if you want the premium here, plus whatever you purchase on the Mog Station. It's up to like forty bucks, I think. That's yeah, like that's it's crazy. Money. That's a lot of money. I mean, ultimately, you don't have to spend a goddamn dime. You don't need extra retainers if you don't yeah. really need them. I don't need them. I have two extras. I don't really even need them. But I have I'm like, a order, I have a know? legacy. I have a legacy subscription. So me getting two retainers is basically me paying the normal sub amount. Yeah. So yeah, it's true. whatever. And then I'm not paying for this because I don't want it, nor do it, nor do I find it that it affects my gameplay. Mm -hmm. But the big question is: is that pay, is it paid to win? No. I want you to think about this question very carefully because we only have a few minutes left. So I want you to think about that question, and I want you to oh. answer. Give give me a detailed answer. This will be the last thing we cover about why is right. this or why isn't this paid to win. 
This isn't pay to win because it's a market board. It's, it's a market board. It's so small. You know, if people, we don't know the rate at which people are going to be able to like, you know, adjust their stuff. I don't think it's going to be to a point where we have these, you know, one or two people and they're just constantly cornering the market. They're always on their phone at work, undercutting every single waking moment. I think it's just such a specific thing that just isn't really going to reflect in a large way negatively on the game. There might be like one person that does it, right? Who has just tons of money to throw and can just like do it willy nilly. But I don't think it's going to apply to a lot of people and it's just going to be, it's going to be a non-issue. It's not going to apply to a lot of people, but it's going to apply to a few. It's not pay to win, but it's money for money, essentially. Money for money, yeah. So it's basically make make a dollar, just you know, because money there's some features there. Chance to make money off of money. When I think I mean, pay to win, the, okay. The really listen. smart people are going to use it that way. The really really smart ones and the really rich people. To, yeah, and the really rich ones who have a lot of money to burn and they're smart and they know how they can work the system. They're going to work the system. But, That's I what mean, I'm saying. It's like, is it even going to make you that much more profit, though? You know, probably That's not. To be determined. That's to be determined. All I'm going to say is, when I think pay to win, I think, how does this help me beat Savage? And it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> that's how yeah, I. That's yeah. I don't look at it as like when I think of markets. Gil is in. Uh, in I guess the nicest way to put it is uh, fucking worthless. So yeah. it's easy to come by. It's easy to make if you even remotely care about obtaining it. Yeah. And it does mm -hmm. it does essentially fucking nothing outside of buy glamour or raid stuff. Or a house. Or housing. Like it's all stuff you absolutely don't need. If you actually care about making gill, somebody buying Moogle coins isn't gonna fucking ruin your day. Yeah. However, in a sub based game, I do not want to see things like this just out of out of sheer okay. principle. Yeah. I don't care about the app. I'm not going to pay for it. It's not going to affect my gameplay experience at all. But I'd rather not see it in the first place. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot a, of people are feel. throwing out the whole slippery slope. I don't think that's the case here, but I would rather. Just, it could be. They said there's going to be more features in be. the future. Maybe they don't know what the we don't know what you're going to be able to nut on next. So we don't know. I said nut to get. Trying real hard here. A nut to get a piece of loot from the 24 man. Yeah, there you go. So that's the concern is they say there will be more features in the future. Listen, at least let me send my retainers out on ventures or some shit. Put yeah. that in there. I want a nut That'd to be venture. Useful. Yeah. Nut to That'd venture. Let's do it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> but I, ultimately, I'm not interested in this app anymore. I was super excited to see what they were going to do with it. Not anymore. Was the one really sour point other than all greed for me, this live letter. But ultimately, I was happy with what we got. I just won't interact with this piece of the game at all. Speak with my wallet. Just don't buy anything. Yeah. I'm just, they're not, they're, I, I don't need their nut. I don't need their nuts. Yeah, I mean, I don't really need the inventory space and I don't, you know... I don't need to manage my inventory or retainer or whatever. So, whatever. I might, I'll download it and like maybe talk with friends every once in a while. Be like, oh, this is fun. But no, you, you I'll do a video on the I'll do a video on the free version, and then I'll I won't need it because I also we didn't even mention it comes with an additional favored location for teleporting. I haven't paid for a teleport in two years, so I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Like just just me personally, Tickets. just me personally. I don't care. I'm just gonna let the people who want to use this app use it. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. And just yeah. be like, I don't like it, so I won't pay for it, and that's gonna be the end of it for me. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. I ain't got time. I ain't got time for nothing else more than that. Um, now there is an entire second half of the live letter after they talk about the companion app. However, there is no way we'll have time for it. I would like to say yep. that I very much appreciate the hard work Foxclown puts in because he has been with every live letter that we've had. So for him to finally yeah. be the special guest, I'm not very happy yeah. that we won't get to cover his topics, especially because it covers the uh banning and suspension banning. process yeah yeah, yeah which yeah. i was, have that was really good yeah and he also answers a few questions some of them i would have liked more elaborate answers especially the botting and pvp it didn't feel like we really got a full answer on that just kind of got what would be the standard process there but fox has been around for a long time he even said he goes back to help uh, being on the community team for the japanese ultima online so he's old school mm -hmm. so even though we won't reach that part 
That man does a lot of hard work. I got a lot of respect for him. So you rock, dude. He rocks. That's that's yeah. all that's that's all we want to say about that. So uh everyone's asking about Final Fantasy 14 Go, how we should have actually gotten that instead of the companion app. Well, we did we got Final Fantasy 14 uh, the Go Nut application. So that's that's fine. So that's our show, everyone. Thanks that's... for coming by tonight. Um they showed off the winner, the gear winners of the the gear design contest, and there's gonna be uh, an, an Eorzean Symphony preview live, where they're gonna tell you how to enjoy it. There's uh, it's gonna have Koji translating. They got the first Primal album coming out. And they got a tour going on in Japan, and there's an official crafting and gathering guidebook that's coming out in Japan, and then they have a monster collaboration in Japan, and then. <laughs> They're looking for people to work at Square Enix in Japan. So there's a bunch of that stuff. And then they have a, a, a Universal. They have a, a their, the Under the Weight music's going to play at a ride in Japan. And then, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and then uh, yeah. And then at the end here, they uh, translator Aluna just mentions a few things. Five new flute types. Sam adjustments purely on DPS. Black Mitch will not have adjustments. Um, observe that Black Mage is a lot stronger and buffed than before. And then also another thing for the performance feature is by holding the note, the keynote will keep playing and fade away eventually. Hmm. So just those last little tidbits there at the end. I thought the armor also looked pretty good for the most part from the winners. There's like one of them I didn't like. I think it was the tank one I wasn't thrilled about. Yeah. The Black Mage one, the caster one was sick. Sick. That's my opinion. But anyway, I got raid in eight minutes. So what do you say we wrap this up and then have a basically non-existent post show? Cool. Sounds good. Awesome. So uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us this week. I'm going to do the sponsor list now, and then I'll let you guys sign off afterwards. So thank you to our sponsors who have been uh, supporting us over on Patreon. They have been helping combat hashtag demonetize. And last week I said I hadn't been saying I didn't know how YouTube was doing with it recently because I hadn't seen it. I did get demonetized uh, earlier today for Mondays with Mr. Happy. So, no, it's still very much around. I don't know how it works because I don't see it, but I get emails every day telling me when a video is actually able to, you know, be monetized. So, I don't know if they're just auto-flagging it or auto-checking it. I don't know what the process is like for them now. They've been helping combat that. So, let's thank our sponsors. I'd like to thank our patron of light. Mary, you know what? You were the OG that did it. So, I'm glad to have you here for that. So can you can you say patron of light for us for for our patron of light? The patron of light. There you go. See, that's a, that's that's a, that's a man with integrity right there. Yeah. There you go. We need to sound clip that honestly so you won't do it anymore. Yeah, I agree. I think that's a, I think that's a good idea and then I just need to pay him like 25 cents in perpetuity every time I say it. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he likes the sound of that dude you could pay for your you could pay for your nuts with that but anyway yeah oh, there God. you go awesome uh so kuja cross is a nova server they decided that they really liked my potions so potion coming soon to a eureka lockbox near you and a face of dread so thank you kuja cross of the Genova server for being the and i'm not going to make him do it again i'll just say it normally the patron of lights thank you for that thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you hi hi there you go thank you then we have our standard sponsors we have sir and the avalanche family on malboro we have johnny owen of tonberry nyrick vizsla the emerald dragoon kefka and the great eagles on exodus dark graver katayoshi from kujada skia symphonia from ragnarok raw zeffin from exodus finally near west off the purple warrior adric red steel on exodus Lexi Valentine, Mentara and the Revivus FC from Zodiac, Sour Cream and Chives from Genova, Renoa Chikara, Guisha Valfur of Siren, Hirsch vs. Fairy, Phoenix Down FC on Goblin, Saren from Z- and Saren from Zodiac. Then we have our elite sponsors. We have Diablo, Holy Tabasco, Red Thorn Asura, Kern Ioni, Askin Hawk, Oscar, Crass015, Mustang, The Serenity FC on Ultros, Kat Kazuma, Kiryoshi and the Reckless Tea Party on Cactar, Ignis Fairgun from the Diablo server, Lestro of Famfrit, Noct Cordis from Excalibur. Krovos Moonscar. I, he put Excalibur when he said it to me. I almost, I want to fix it because I say it every week and if I don't say, Bleh. I don't say Bleh. it. Um, Nakaniyame of Balmung, Private Mikey, Spike, Nadine Kirasame, Rudy Rudiger, Tink Colossus, Killer Hackman, Roll Jr., Ramil Gaming, and Kiltastic Jones. Thank you to all of our sponsors for you, everyone. helping us combat hashtag demonetize, which apparently still does very much exist. But on that note, now you guys can sign off. So, uh, so Mary, why don't you, why don't you uh, kick it off right now? Where can they find you at? 
You can find me at www.twitch.tv slash two nuts. I don't think that's where they can actually find very, you. Very mm. underscore Mary. And on Twitter, very underscore Mary. And YouTube, very Mary. But I don't I haven't put out a video in a while, so don't check that. I got nothing else. Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, Sly, why don't you tell them where they can find you at then? Twitch.tv slash Sly AK Gray Fox. Twitter at Sly the Fox. Instagram at Sly AK Gray Fox 07. Uh, YouTube.com slash the Velvet Room. I actually start, like got off my ass and started making videos. Yay. Um, there will be more. I have to work on my SMT timeline video, and that takes so fucking long. So, yeah, that'll be... It'll definitely be before uh, Strange Journey Redux comes out. So, please look forward to it. Hi. Um, Happy, where can they find you? Well, what about Ethos? Yeah, let Ethos sign off. Ethos, where can we find you? Okay. Great. All right, thanks for sharing that, Ethos. All right, so I guess I'll do my sign-off now. Yeah. All right, probably sounds like a good idea. I can find me, Mr. Happy127, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Mr. Happy127, in all of those locations. I'll be in Vancouver this coming weekend to attend the unofficial Final Fantasy convention, KupoCon. Also be several guests, such as Ray Chase, the voice actor of Noctis. I believe Liam Mulvey will also be there. He's the voice cap. He's the voice, uh, voice actor and the motion capture for uh libertus in final fantasy 15 i have to check the list because i feel like there's one more guest who i'm forgetting but if you're in vancouver and you don't have tickets too bad it's sold out so hopefully you already have tickets uh and i will see you there feel free to say hello and all that uh all that good stuff but anyway i gotta get to raid good luck and so uh thank you everyone for joining us this week uh our post show will be non-existent because i am going to raid and they're already upset that i'm not there so even though I'm still technically three minutes early, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So thank you for joining yeah. us this week, Mary, and uh, knowing how daylight savings works, and also living in America, so you can always know how daylight saving works. And uh, we, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah. that. So and mm-hmm. Ethis, of course, thank you for. Yeah, but anyway. All right, uh, you're welcome. All right. Oh, thanks. Uh, oh no, it's great. You're welcome. I like my impression better. It's... Okay, that's fine. But anyway, uh, I will. We we I'll, I'll see you guys in thirty seconds. And Sly already turned his camera off, so we're <laughs> Sly's out. Sly's like, all right, I gotta hurry this fucker up. So we will see you guys next week for Aero Zivia, where I will educate Ethos on how daylight saving works, so he doesn't miss his own show. Will we? Yes. So are you sure? We'll see you next week, and well, with Ethos most likely. So uh, um, bye. Bye. <laughs> The outro screen's not even the correct one because we had I was waiting for Ethis and therefore he's not really like I can't do it. So this is a different one that's supposed to be and it's not the right one. Okay, now it's gonna be now it's the right one. Now it's the right one. There you go. Bye. 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 Bye.